you care about this Brady story? No. No, it's all, you know, anything that has to do with the Patriots and Bill Belichick, I can care less. Why? I was with Bill in Cleveland in 95. He lied to me right to my face, so I'll never, I never trusted him after that. So all this stuff that happens, I'm sure he's right in the middle of it. What, why was he lying to you? Uh, well, I was there in 95. All they had was Vinny Testaverde, and uh, they had just drafted a kid, uh, what's his name, Zyre out of Georgia. Eric Zyre. The only two QBs they had. Yep. And so they, he told me they, they were going to have to release me after training camp. I said, that's fine. You know, I didn't really want to be in Cleveland. And then uh, he said, no, no, we really want you here. Uh, Mr. Modell said, you know, we're going to take care of you while you sit out. You might have to sit out one or two weeks. So he said they were going to pay me. I ended up sitting out seven weeks, and I still haven't gotten paid. Because <laughs> I told him, I said, look, don't screw me around. If I'm going to be here, I move my family here. I, you know, I have to find a hockey team for my sons. There's a lot going on. You know, I wouldn't have moved to Cleveland just to move to Cleveland. So I sat there for seven weeks just playing Firestone and just waiting for my checks that never came. But <clears throat> and so after they released me uh, after week 10, I still haven't gotten paid. So I don't trust any of those guys. You consider him a cheater? Uh, I know he's a liar. But cheating ain't far behind, I would think. But the whole ball thing, I, I know it's a silly rule, but it's still a rule. What, was it something like? Did did somebody take care of the footballs for you for your liking or? You know, what, I never, yeah, I never saw the balls until game time, so I didn't. You didn't, I really didn't care. I was wearing gloves anyway, so whether they had too much air or not enough, I would have never known. 